Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott, back in the old curiosity shop. And that kitchen counter doesn't look like it normally does. Yeah, I'm going to shake things up a little bit this afternoon and do an, an unwrapping, an unveiling, unpackaging, just to keep it fresh. You know, the day before yesterday, we were in the kitchen sink. And now we're on the counter with everything wrapped up. As I said, just trying to keep you entertained and keep you guessing. Well, a few things I'll talk about before I start unwrapping. Uh, I'm not sure what you're enjoying this afternoon, but I'm going to have some hot apple cider. And I don't know, but whether you can see there's some steam coming off of that. It is nice and hot. And then I'm eating some of these... Well, they're just these cheap little store-bought holiday cookies, I guess. I don't know. I was just kind of in the mood for a treat. So I'm going to snack on those. Um, what are you snacking on? It's windy and blustery here in the Northeast. Strong winds and rain uh, are headed our way for this evening, so... I'm going to batten down the hatches and I'm not going anywhere. Now, let's uh, talk about a few things. The music that you might hear in the background is a thrift store purchase. This looked nice and it was only 50 cents. Christmas Jazz, a holiday homecoming series. Traditional holiday music performed in a swing jazz ensemble. I'm not uh, going overboard with Christmas music yet, but I was just sort of in the mood today for a little bit of it. and. Uh, I bought this a couple of days ago at the thrift shop and decided I would put it in. It's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if I, if I have a copyright strike or not, but maybe you can hear a little bit of it. And I uh, have gotten... I've pulled the boxes down. I'm not going to do any decorating yet, but you can see back there, I've started to pull out the train set. It takes me a while to get it all set up, depending on how detailed I want to get. So I've, I've pulled a few of the boxes out of storage and have pulled some of the cars out. Those are the original Lionel boxes from uh, the train set my father received in... He couldn't remember whether it was 1950 or 51. Um, and I've had the train set now for the last several years. Alright, let's get unboxing. Now everything here came from a flea market. I'll show you these Christmas lights first and then I'm going to put the camera in some kind of a device so I can use both hands. I bought three boxes or two boxes here of wonderful Christmas lights, Christmas lights, Christmas tree lamps, you can see General Electric and they are the uh, C7 size and they're all in there. I haven't tested any of them yet. Love the, the General Electric boxes. This one is filled with the, with the Christmas lamps as well. We'll peek in there and let you see. Maybe. There they are. And it's full. Mm-hmm. I love the old boxes. And, of course, I use the light bulbs. And then here's one that's probably from the 19... Uh, 50s. Uh, even I think they were even making these in the 60s. Colors won't fade, chip, or peel. And again, these are the C7.5 bulbs. General Electric. No hunting for burnouts. Okay. Uh, and these were in a thrift shop actually here in uh, in Philadelphia not too many blocks from where I live I don't remember what I paid they weren't they weren't much money at all I think less than they might have been about a dollar a box so wonderful okay let me set this camera up and we'll get these bags open ok 
camera to dive in, and hopefully these bags won't make too much noise. Uh, let's go ahead and start with it. I know it says CVS on there, but you know when you go to the flea market, you're going to get whatever bags they happen to have. So, coming up out of these bags are two matching dresser lamps with Hideot with awful electric cords. I'm going to definitely have to replace those. Well, you can't really see it, can you? Let me get the uh, angle of the camera a little bit. That's a little bit better. All right, let me try to... Boy, these cords are uh, brittle, and they need to be replaced, and they will be. Now, I paid $10 for the pair of these lamps, and the sockets appear to be in decent condition. I think they're going to be fine. Let me get them to where you can see them. Beautiful. Uh, what are these flowers? I always get messed up when I try to say what the flowers are. Is that a dragon lily? I don't know. I shouldn't even try. I shouldn't even. I take that back. <laughs> you, you guys can tell me what they are. I love the way they're painted. And uh, these are probably going to date to the, the uh, early 40s. They could even be, I would say, the early, 19, early to mid-1940s. And there's a wonderful label on the back, which uh, I will let you see. I wasn't familiar with this company. No, it's going to, uh, in this direction, it's not focusing for you to see. I'll have to read it to you. It says, hand-painted, um, hand-painted William F. B. Johnson. Uh, an original styling by William F. B. Johnson Incorporated. And they both have their labels on the back. Great. And they look like a 1940s style and a 1940s label. So uh, I will be doing a little bit of research on William F. Johnson later on and be rewiring these. And they'll be in the old curiosity shop at some point in the future. I'm still here, I'm just moving stuff away. Alrighty, another CVS bag. Okay, do you recognize that? That's a Fenton. Now where's my, I've got a black light around here somewhere. Here it is, but uh, you're not, you're probably not going to be able to see a whole lot unless I uh, turn all these lights off. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Now this light blinks, this is from a Halloween uh, prop. So, but I know everybody likes to see everything fluoresce, right? And you'll see, woo hoo hoo. I'm sorry if it's blinking. You'll notice my uh, range set lights up back there too. Anyway, Fenton custard glass. Turn this off and get the lights back on. Now this predates 19, 71 on account of it's not embossed it's not signed on the bottom Fenton this did originally have a sticker on it you know the typical Fenton label that was put on and then in I think it was 1971 they started to em to emboss uh, on the bottom I think they call this a reverse drape because obviously you know, when something drapes it, it drapes like that, right? With the swag hanging down. Am I, I didn't study interior design. I don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> I think when the drape goes the opposite direction, it's a reverse drape. And it's in really good condition. Uh, custard, I guess you say custard glass. You know, with the, uh, uh, I started to say formaldehyde. Mm, mm, mm with the, not fluoride, isn't that awful? The word, you have the word, uranium, and it doesn't even start with, oh my gosh. Okay, well anyway, that's what that is, really nice. That was, uh, what did I pay for that? Five dollars, I think I paid for that, and was happy to do so. Okay, I've never seen one of these before. Well, I, of course I've seen a rolling pin before, but I have not seen one made of uh, a, uh, steel, or I guess this is chrome. These are um, 
these are Bakelite handles, not wood, not wooden handles. Uh, I'm going to have to, you know, see what I can find out about this. You know, my guess would be the 40s or the 50s. Anybody know anything about, I guess with this type of rolling pin, you could put this in the refrigerator and it might help when you're, roll, when you're rolling out uh, cold dough, you know, that you would make Christmas cookies with and whatnot. But this was a dollar and I love these Bakelite handles. on them, on it. Uh, also from the same vendor at the flea market, these were also a dollar each. Now this is a wooden can, a wooden handled can opener. And it says, I know it's not focusing for you. Well, it might be. Anyway, it says the Edmund, Ed, Edlund, Edlund, E-D-L-U-N-D, Edlund Junior Number 5, Edlund Company, Burlington, Vermont, and the patent date is May the 21st, um, no, April 21st and May the 12th of 1925, and then there's another patent date on here, June of 1929. So we know this is uh, at most as old as June of 1929. So uh, a few months before the stock market crashed in October of that year, 1929. So I love that in red. Uh, that'll be for sale. There's a green handle and you know what that means. It means I'm keeping it two cups full cute little sifter. I've never seen one like this before. And it says just made in USA. And the way it works, you can scoop out the uh, flour. There you have the, the, you can measure it. And then look at this nice little sifting action here. You just flip the handle back and forth and it sifts it. So as you know, I collect the kitchen items with the green on them. Uh, but not the red. So the red items will be for sale, but the green uh, most likely I'll be keeping and probably even using. I've been sitting here staring at this apple cider. I've got to have a sip of it. You have a sip of whatever you're drinking. I'll be right back. I'm not going to slurp. Don't worry. So you didn't hear anything. You didn't hear me smack my lips or anything. I did that once before and I got complaints. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. Isn't this fun? It's like Christmas morning. You ready? You guys are going to love this. I hope I've got it right side up. I do. Look at the poodle. Isn't he wonderful? Or she. Fabulous. And it is big, big, big. That's a big poodle. And of course it has a pink collar with gold with gold buttons and it's got glass. He's got glass eyes. I had a great grandfather with a glass eye. I think I told you that. And fantastic. There's one there no cracks in it and nothing was broken or or uh, repaired. He's got one little owie right there on one of his curly cues. You see that? Just one little nick. But otherwise, look at that. He's what? That must be 10 inches long in, in, in length there. And uh, I don't, well, I don't know. I don't think he's homemade ceramic. There's a name on it under here, and it looks like it might have been commercially made. L Y, I'm going to say L Y T E R, light, lighter. But there, I'll let you decide. You see it right here? It might be in reverse. I'll hold it still. Now what does that say? I hope it doesn't come up backwards for you to see. I'm not really sure. Uh, Mid-century. And uh, he's going to go great in a mid-century sale when I add this. You saw me... No, I didn't chip it. 
you, you saw me buy this a couple of days ago at the thrift shop. This is made here in Philly, and I haven't even researched this yet. But I think one of the subscribers looked it up and told me something in the comments. I've got to go back and check that out. Also, you know what? Let me say before I go any farther. Please don't get mad at me over emails. I'll tell you what I did. I was reading emails on, on, on my cell phone, and I don't reply to emails on my cell phone. Um, I guess we could get that light out of your faces. Um, and um, I just, you know, I read things and I was deleting everything, and I didn't realize that when I logged back in on my actual PC, that everything I deleted, I should have known, got deleted. So what I'm trying to say is I, a lot of the emails that you've, that you guys have sent me in the last couple of weeks are in a trash can somewhere and I'm trying to retrieve them. I Please don't think I'm, I'm being uh, rude. I do answer my emails. I know sometimes it takes me a week before I do it, but I'm, I'm trying to dig those emails out of the trash can so I can reply to everybody. So I, w I just want you to know that if you've written, not within the last couple of days, I think I deleted all those by accident uh, about a week ago. And I still haven't been able to retrieve them out of the trash can. Okay, now let's see, we've got two more items here. Get the spotlight back. These are two Christmas items that are going to be for sale in some upcoming Christmas auctions. Not the one that's coming up uh, tomorrow. I think you're going to be watching this on Sunday. Um, and you saw a sneak peek of some of the Christmas items that I'm going to be selling on uh, Monday night. But these will be for sale. It's just going to be a little bit later. Probably the end of the week or the, or the following week. So we'll start out with another one of these. These are always popular, and they they sell pretty well. Now the thing with these Santas and their baskets and their spaghetti, you really got to go over these very well. And I studied him for quite a while. No mustache breaks. No break on the pom pom on the hat. No no boots have been broken off. You see fourteen dollars on there. That's not what I paid. I'll tell you what I paid. And the nice thing is you really can't tell if any of this spaghetti is broken off or not because it just feels so rough. But if there were if there were anything major, you'd see big hunks of spaghetti missing, and, and that's not the case with this guy. So nothing has been broken or repaired, and there aren't any cracks on it. Many of these quite often are Japan made and uh, they date to the late 50s into the early 60s, into the 1960s. He's a good size and uh, he was, a, he was, the dealer uh, was asking $14 and I, I set him aside and then I found another one and she ended up selling both of them to me uh, for $20. So I paid $20 for the two of these. And I was happy to do that. Uh, this one is, is, I wouldn't say he's unique or one of a kind, but he's one, I guess, probably for every 10 of these that I come across, I usually find the spaghetti decorated ones. And this is one that I just, I haven't seen before. And he's also, now he does have a mark on the bottom. You see, he was originally 12, and this one 14. So, um, that would have been $26, and as I said, she sold me the pair for 20. But let me see what this tag says on the bottom. Let me turn it my way. I haven't read it yet. It's probably something Japan. And it says artistry. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, let me let me get over here in this. It says it says art artistically hand painted. 
Japan, and then um, some letters that are going to tell me which company it is, but it's too small for me to see. But made in Japan, artistically hand painted, and there are some letters there that tell that tell you it's that it doesn't it's not Holt Howard, but anyway, he's nice looking with a gift. And again, these are both planters. I'm going to have to dig that, whatever you call that stuff. What is that? Ugh. Hopefully it's not, you know, it's that old florist uh, styrofoam stuff. Sometimes it pops right out. Other times you got to chisel, chisel at it because it coagulates into this nasty amalgamation of, ugh. Anyway, there they are. You see them both? I'm going to get this down here where you can see them both. $20 for the two. I thought that was nice. I sort of anticipate that they will both sell individually for uh, over $20 each. Uh, you know, they could sell for about $30 each. We'll see. I'm going to put them up for auction. And as I said, the paint is really good. And that's the reason why I went ahead and was happy to pay that price because we've got good paint and no damage on either one all right so now you can now you can see now you can see let me get you back up again well there's my kitchen counter looking okay I guess all that with all that stuff on it and uh, that's it okay I hope everybody joins me on Monday night for the first of my vintage Christmas glass sale and you saw uh, some of the photographs yesterday if you watched yesterday's video and I think that's all I'm gonna say right now so we'll wrap it up thanks for watching everyone have a wonderful afternoon I'm Scott from the old curiosity shop so long for now